Hi everybody, welcome to another video. So this is going to be a GitHub tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use GitHub Desktop for Windows, which is a pretty interesting uh, software. If you guys are interested in using GitHub or trying to get started using GitHub, you guys can create repositories. Um, it has some synchronization or integration with Visual Studio, which is pretty interesting. So let's start by downloading installing the software you guys can search uh, github desktop and then download uh, download and it should be fairly easy to download you guys click in desktop.github.com and it should bring you guys to that uh, to this website and you guys click uh, download for windows 64 bits we are downloading uh, i have my uh, window to full screen now you guys can see i dropped there uh, so uh, it's gonna take a minute so let's just talk about uh, the software for started so github is a way to uh, store. It's actually GitHub is a duplication, but the name of the technology is called Git, which is a, a versioning software that is used for almost all of the coding or development community to organize and store and check for software. So if you're trying to get into coding, you need to learn Git. The basics are pretty easy. You guys can, for example, download easily a file, but we need to use GitHub desktop to have our own uh, repositories and have them synchronized with the cloud, uh, with your public repo. You guys can actually create um, a private repository if you want to. If you are working in a project that you don't, need, uh, you don't want people to see, you can create a private repository uh which is something that was what was not available in some years ago but now it's now available since microsoft bought uh github so i be I've, I've downloaded uh the software now let's install um the solution should pre should be pretty straightforward uh it's not that difficult if you are a windows user you should be familiar with um, solutions of software on Windows already. So yeah, there we go. Uh, solution is done. Uh, let's go with file. Uh, we can actually. I think I, I I'm logged in into my GitHub account. So I'm gonna show you guys how to clone a repository. Um, I'm gonna go to GitHub, GitHub.com, and we're gonna search for uh, a repository that I had called Mila. Uh, okay, I found my repository. So this is my repository of a project that I I done a almost a year ago. And we're gonna copy the the link. Okay, you copy the URL of the person that you're trying to uh, copy. And let's go to GitHub. And here, you guys can go to clone a repository from the internet. And you guys can paste the URL. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not logged in. As you guys can see here, I can log in into my account if I want to which is recommended if you guys uh, are trying to create your own project because you can sync. And we're going to show you guys how to do that, exactly that. But let's just um copy this repository i'm gonna um paste path here i have a folder i'm gonna choose downloads because it's a folder that i have access now and let's click clone by doing this it should fairly um fast should be a fairly uh, fast process to download this repository which is has some files uh and if we go to if we go to that folder uh we should see here the folder of the repo poster it's empty now because it's downloading those files and now it's it's is it done yeah it's done so now i have all these files um if you guys are used to downloading github reports are using the download part so for example here if i want to download this i could go to code and download zip but this step requires for you to extract the files so it's not very interesting because you guys can kind of uh, kind of end up with duplicate files which is not smart and take some um, time to organize those but by doing this you guys have all the files already yeah if i wanted to look into it this file specifically i can do that so this is the, the file it has some code here to to load speech recognition and to open up the microphone for speech recognition this is how you can uh 
download or clone a repository using this. So you guys click the file and you guys can use the shortcut uh, Control Shift O. To log into your account, you guys are gonna click on signing and let's click to continue with browser. So my default browser is Chrome. Uh, so you guys need to have your browser. So let's use Chrome and let's click OK. I'm already signed in into this. So I'm just click uh, open with desktop. Mine is in Portuguese, but you guys can see that. So and I think I'm in. So yeah, I've logged in. Let's let's add a comment. So because this is my repository, I can go to I need to open up my Git here, guys, just so you guys to see. So this is my GitHub. Uh, I have a ripple here. I'm gonna clone this path, and because I wanna see the changes that I'm going to make. Uh, so let's go. Um, so here you guys can see that my last comment was, so let's say that I want to add a change to this uh, project here. So I have my project here. You guys can see here. You can see my project. I have a Mila here, which is a virtual assistant. So to add a change to that project, I can open up this project with uh, Visual Studio, which is one of my favorite uh, text editors now. And it has integration with GitHub, which makes the process a lot easier. So if you click open in Visual Studio Code, it should open that here. Okay, so I'm gonna trust this. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to put a meme how uh, do trust this. So here we are in the Visual Studio Code. Yeah, I'm seeing my main um, file. I'm not going to change anything here, but if I do make a change here, let's say I add A equals 2, which is some code that doesn't do anything uh, <laughs> in practice. But if I go to back to GitHub, I should see that change showing me here so uh the thing about github is that it makes your organization so much better so if you're starting to code you need to use github to get organized because organization is going to save you lots of time uh you guys should strive to save time when coding here you guys can see that i got that line and i can add a a simple simmer here add a change i've added a equals two. So if I click the comment, I need to change, I need to choose a version. So, okay. So let's, let's go with commit. Let's go to master. I'm going to bring my changes to master. I need to do that in order to, okay. Yes. Commit files. Okay. I'm going to, so to synchronize, I've, I've created a new, um, branch. And I'm gonna click on push origin. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. So if you guys go in here and let's reload the page, I should see a change here. I need to go to master because I've done okay. And you guys can see the change that I've made. So this this repository has multiple branches, which was a tutorial series I was making on how to create your own virtual system in Python. So it has multiple branches. Um, I'm gonna try to get back to this series, which I think is very interesting. Uh, it was quite uh, insightful to make. I've learned lots of things about, uh, when doing this. So there we go. Um, I'll show you guys how to download and if you guys have access to a repository, which I do, because this is my repo, uh, you guys can make change to that. But now I'm going to show you guys how to create a new project. Okay. So to create a new project, you're going to create in file a new repository, or you guys can simply uh, hold control N. Let's do that. Uh, here, we're going to create a name. So name is going to be uh, git. Uh, uh, GitHub tutorial, tutorial, and it's going to be. I'm gonna put underline English because I'm gonna do a version of this video in Portuguese as well. So that's why I'm doing this. So I'm gonna add a description. You guys can add descriptions if you want to. I'm gonna show uh, just a simple, um, simple GitHub tutorial. GitHub tutorial. 
Um, this is the description. The description should tell you guys about tell the people that are viewing the project about what's the goal of the project. For example, if it's a library, if you're trying to solve a problem, if you just say um, like a lecture or something. So local path is where this repository, this repo is going to be stored on your computer. Okay. So here's download because this is just a tutorial, but usually I would have uh, in a separate drive, a path, a, a folder called GitHub and this the topic of that uh, repository, for example, Python or deep learning. Uh, and there I would store that particular project. So here we're gonna check initialize with um, readme. We should, you should always do this to have that text um, below your repository. Get ignore. We're gonna change, um, we're gonna uh, choose a language. This is going to be Python, uh, Python, Python, Python project. License, um, usually MIT, which is the most used, I think. Uh, so let's create a repository and we've created now we're going to publish and I think by default, um, okay. Okay. See, so here you guys can see, I have the keep this code private marked. So most of my, uh, repos are private because they are things I'm trying to do. And so this is my default, but you guys can mark this to. Uh, it'll mark this and this should uh, make your repos public. So we're going to do that. Here's our organization. You guys can add if you want to. So let's click on publish browser and should do the job. So now it's uploading all of that to GitHub. So now if I go to my account and go to your repositories, first one should be the tutorial on YouTube here. You guys can see. So now that I have this repository, I should start adding some code. I'm gonna do that. So just gonna click open with uh, open in Visual Studio Code, and we're gonna open a new instance of Visual Studio Code. Here's my project. Here's the my readme. Okay, this has the text that I want to add to that. You guys can add uh, HTML code here and stuff if you guys want to, but I'm just gonna type uh, this is a video on how to use github desktop okay when i add that if i go to github i should see the change uh here i see that I'm, i have updated the readme so i can comment here i can add a description so i'm, I'm not ignore that i'm gonna ignore that let's click to comment to master and push origin. And I should see now, if I reload this, I should see that. And it appears here. Because everything that I put in the readme is going to appear below here. It shouldn't just appear as plain text. Or if you're trying to um, print some stylized a banner for your repo, which is something that I'm not going to this video because it's way too complicated. But you guys can put actually HTML in this file and should work here in the visualization. So I don't have a Python um, file here. Let's add a Python file. So this is my repo. I'm going to click on new here. I'm going to go with main.py. So I'm going to add import numpy SMP, and I'm gonna do just a simple matrix multiplication. Okay, I'm gonna go with w equals np dot random random dot random in two by two, and I'm gonna go with x equals np dot random dot random. I'm gonna create a function called matmo matmo x and y actually x um just x and that's going to have a w actually xw okay xw and that's going to return okay we're gonna create this and this uh what two a one to a matrix two by one and it's gonna be the transpose matrix 
Uh, okay, we're gonna return um, np dot x and w. So just, this is just a matrix multiplication um, example, and we'll let print uh, let mo x and w. Okay, uh, to execute, I'm gonna print um, here. So this is the output, you guys can see. It. And now let's go to GitHub um, and let's add a change here. Um, add metmo function function. Okay, and click. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna use the shortcut, which is Control P, and we are pushing to origin. So that change should appear now if I reload this website, which is the page. Um, let's try again. Mm, it didn't appear here. Push origin. Now we have the my, that main file, and it has that code exactly code that I've written. So I guess you can see that this is how you can use GitHub to organize your projects and etc. So if you guys like this tutorial, guys can hit, leave a like down below. I know that I've talked for <laughs> quite some time now, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm gonna make some videos on how to code using GitHub in the future. If you guys are down to see that, you guys can comment down below and comment what you guys wanna see more in this channel. So this is it, and guys, and see you in the next one.